they say when you die, you see a bright light. People told me how lucky I was. That it was a miracle I survived. But I didn't feel lucky. When I was brought back, I wasn't alone. Something came with me. People go, huh? huh? Come out, guys. I know you're there. Fine. Going in. Hey. You guys suck. Sorry, Cass. It was his idea. <laughs> Here's a welcome back to the world present to make it up to you. Apology accepted. That's our girl. So, Cassie Stevens, the girl who cheated death. How's it feel? Better than not cheating it. Amen to that. Here's a toast. To tasting death and then beating it. Then shall come to pass, as is written, death shall be swallowed up in victory. And with this promise of victory, we now commend the soul of Katie unto the loving hands of our Lord. Eternal rest grant her, O Lord, and may perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. Then the devil approached him and said, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. Jesus said in reply, it is written that man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Steve, you have something you want to add? Yeah, well, what about the, the parts in the Bible that mention the devil? Like uh, when Jesus cast the demons out of people. Well, that's obviously how the people of that time understood mental illness. Today, we'd consider that schizophrenia. Cassie? Cassie? Yeah. 
Everything okay? Uh, no. <laughs> Freak. <laughs> okay, we'll pick up where we left off on Wednesday. Be sure to finish the reading of the chapter, all right? Justin, can you run this? This was us? Yeah, back in like third grade. My mom found it in the scrapbook. Oh. Let the old Justin know I was hanging. Cassie. Yeah. I'm glad you're all right from the accident and all that. Yo, Jay, what you doing, man? We're gonna be late. Gotta go. Yeah. So what was that about? What was what about? Don't give me that shit. You know that chick. S sort of. What about her? Man, that chick's just weird. I heard her and her friends killed some girl. She wasn't driving. Who the hell cares? That's still some messed up shit. And you want to be friends with that? I didn't say we were friends. She just needed some notes. Whatever, man. She's not someone I want to hang with. We're not hanging. It was just notes. So did you give them to her? No. Good. Let's get out of here. Keep you guessing, dipshit. Here we are. Katie Dunn. Why this one? Because she's the girl we killed. Pretty screwed up, isn't it? We're up here and she's down there. God really got this one ass backwards, didn't he? That's because there is no God. It's all a bunch of crap. Yeah, I agree. What about you, Cass? Do you believe in a covetous God? I thought we came here to get drunk. Not talk about God. You really think your God would want you getting drunk? You know, I think most of the time he's forgotten about me. That's because it's all a fairy tale, Cass. Nobody is up there to forget. No God, no devil. Just life and then a bunch of rotting bones. Let's just drop it. Why, Cass? What are you afraid of? Nothing. I just don't want to talk about it. I think our little Cassie's scared of death. So what is it, Cass? Those fairy tales making you sleep better? Not really. There you have it. Did you guys see that? See what? There's a guy just over there. Mm, probably shouldn't be. Why not? Hey, we're looking for a ghost Cassie's been seeing? Hey, any of you dead people seen a ghost around here? Would you cut the crap? Well, I'm not crapping, I'm ghost hunting. It's not a ghost. Sure about that, Cass? You don't sound very convincing. What is it? I heard something. You sure it wasn't that ghost you don't believe in? Seriously, come over here. I 
hear something. You guys. What the hell? Dad? Mom? Mom? Dad? See me, Father? Well, yes, Doug. Please, come in. Several of the parents called this week. They said you told the students that demons do not exist. Actually, I explained that the Bible uses them as metaphors, not something to be taken literally. Is that what you believe? That's what I was taught. Well, you were taught wrong. 
Demons are very real, Doug. And their actions have a direct effect on us as humans. What kind of effect? Well, it varies. For some, it's oppression. Others, obsession. But ultimately, their goal is complete domination of their will over that of the individuals. That's what we call possession. Ready, guys? I guess. I'll try with a little less enthusiasm. I am ready. Are you sure, Cass? We don't have to do this. I'm sure. Madam Trish, you may proceed. Okay. Okay. Everyone take a deep breath. Now let it out slowly. We're gathered here tonight to contact the entity that's been dwelling in Cassie's home. <laughs> Quiet. Go on. If you're here, spirit, speak to us now. We command it. Yeah, speak, damn it. Okay, this is not gonna work unless you're serious. S sorry. Speak to us. O oh, spirit from the great beyond. Spirit, speak to us now. Tell us what you want. Come on, Seth. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll be serious. What do you want from Cassie, Spirit? He's here. Speak to us, spirit. We command it. I, it wasn't me. You guys, look. D. Dead. He wants you dead. Holy shit. That's not even funny. Did you do that? Hell no. You guys, I just saw something outside the window. Cass, we're on the second floor. I don't care, I just saw something. Go, go on, check it out. You check it out, I'm out of here. Just tell me, did you do it? No, Cass, I didn't do it. Seth, wait.
Cassie? And it's been that way ever since the crash. And it's like he's just waiting. What do you think he was waiting for, Cassie? For me to kill myself. Well, and it's our job to see to it that he doesn't get that pleasure. You don't think he's real, do you? You think I'm imagining all of this? Cassie, I have absolutely no doubt that you believe what you're seeing is real. If you're asking me if I believe in ghosts, the answer is, I don't know. What if I told you there's other people seeing him? Would you believe me then? I found this on the internet. This is what you've been seeing? And what other people have been seeing. I'm certain these visions are quite terrifying. My immediate concern is the effect they're having on you. Why you think this man wants you to kill yourself? Because that's what he does. Father, the office told me I could find you here. Can we talk? Sure, Maggie. How are you? It's been hard. I can't even begin to imagine. Well, I guess you heard that they're not filing charges in the crash. No, I hadn't heard. Well, they're not. So that means that my daughter is dead and no one's being punished for it. I'm sorry, Maggie. Is that what you came to talk about? I understand that Cassie Stevens is a student of this school. Can you help me find her? I don't see how that's going to help things. Well, it will. The girl has put me through hell. Katie was all that I had. And that girl took her from me. I want her to know that I wish she'd have been stay. Hard to call you. I had too many bad experiences. Did you hear? Are you serious? What? Yeah, How I'm, old were you? I'm only on beer now. Hey, can I ask you a favor? Hey, I thought you said she wasn't your girlfriend, Mahoney. Yeah, what's up with that? She's not. Hey, it's whatever, man. It's cool. What's up? Sorry. Um, it's just. There's this guy I'm supposed to meet after school, and I was hoping you'd come along with me and kind of make sure everything's safe. <clears throat> Who is it? Just some guy. So you want Jay here to come along as your bodyguard? <laughs> yeah. Well, ain't that sweet. Justin, the bodyguard. <laughs> Will you carry my books for me, Justin? Will you wipe my ass for me, Justin? Will you kiss my ass for me, Daryl? Only if you wipe it. Will you do it? Uh, you said it was after school? <laughs> yeah. Don't we have practice? Since when did that stop you? Yeah, we'll just tell Coach that you're busy being a bodyguard. <laughs> Doing your good deed for the day. Hey, Can we I do it? Just drop Jay, it. the bodyguard.
Hey! Your name Cassie? Yeah. I'm Kyle Martin. Hop in. So it was right after the accident? That's when it all started? Yeah, like a couple days later. Never tried to kill yourself or nothing before that? Mine started about six months ago. I OD'd on some bad smack. I've been clean ever since. What makes you think it's a demon? Because it's bad. Real bad. The stuff it puts in your head and makes you see. What kind of stuff? The scariest stuff you'll ever see. I've been having nightmares. That's how it starts. The thing's gaining its influence on you. There been any accidents yet? Like what? People you know getting killed. No. Good. But it'll happen. The thing goes after anyone who tries to help you. You had people die? Is it close yet? What do you mean? <clears throat> How far away is it when you see it? I don't know, like across the room? Good then. You're still good, but it'll get closer, and that's when you need to worry. Why? Because you'll feel it in your head like a siren going off day and night. Things just keeps ripping at your thoughts. I only found one way to turn it off. This sometimes works too. You twist, and the pain gives your brain something else to focus on. I'm freaking you out by all this, aren't I? Kinda. We'll get used to it, because the folks who couldn't turn it off, they're the ones that killed themselves. Done. I was hoping I'd catch her. What is it? About our conversation the other day. Perhaps I was a bit abrupt. About the church's teachings about demons? Yes. No. No, you were fine. And the truth is, you're probably right. I've been giving a lot of thought since Katie Dunn's funeral and I've been having a rough time with some of the church's teachings. With regards to demons? With regards to everything. Would you like to talk about it? I wouldn't even know where to begin. Maggie Dunn stopped by earlier today. She was so angry and full of hate. And the more I try to talk to her about God's mercy and how her daughter's in a better place, the more it struck me. I don't know if I believe that anymore. Be right back. I'm going to go check on Cass. Have a shot, Cass. Take the edge off. <laughs> That's more like it. Come dance with us.
this what you wanted? Cassie. Cassie. Now. That's it. That's it. You're safe now. You're in my office. You're safe. That's it. Shake it off. Do you remember that night now? The night you tried to kill yourself. He was there. And everyone was dead. What about your friends? Were they there? They were dead, too. This is a place you've been to, isn't it? Rave party, I believe they're called. Are you familiar with a drug called ecstasy? I believe they're popular at these parties. I've heard of it. Have you ever taken it? Sometimes. You're not going to tell my parents, are you? They're very worried about you, Cassie. They care for you deeply. No, they don't. They only care about themselves. Well, perhaps they have a difficult time showing it. But I assure you, they do care. Cassie, is there something wrong? You don't hear that? What are you hearing? How you feeling? Okay, I guess. Can I come in? Aren't you afraid your buddies will see you talking to me? Right now, I could really care less. I brought you these. That's from class. I didn't know how long you'd be in here. Seeing how you're doing. <laughs> Can I ask you something, Cass? I guess. It's okay if you don't want to answer. You want to know why I tried to kill myself? I saw your parents at church. They told me about it, about Scotty. So that's the real reason why you came? My mom put you up to this? No. No. No, I came. I came because an old friend tried to kill herself. It made me realize what a complete dick I've been in. I'm so sorry, Cass. I'm so 
scared, Justin. I don't know what's happening to me. Hey, Father. Uh, you got a couple seconds? I need to talk to you about Cassie Stevens. Yeah, sure, Justin. How is she? I've known Cassie my whole life, and I've never seen her this scared. She's had these visions ever since her accident? And it's always in the corner of her eye, like in that old saying. Evil hides in the periphery. See, you believe her, right? She really is seeing this thing? It's something we should let her doctor decide. Yeah, but he doesn't believe in demons or spirits or anything. He thinks it's all made up in her head. In all likelihood, he's probably correct. Look, Justin, I know you want to help her, but these visions could have resulted from her head injuries or any number of causes. But what if they didn't? What if she really is seeing this thing? I'm sorry, Justin, but I'm inclined to agree with her doctor. Well, he's wrong. Something's after her. We can't stop. But you could. You know, I thought priests were here to help people.
What are you guys doing here? Liberating you, girl. We haven't seen you since they locked you up. I'm not locked up. They're helping me. Right, because you looked so helped just now. You're still seeing him, aren't you? Judges will accept that as a yes. How about a little midnight snack, Cass? All the help you need's right here. I can't. You mean you won't? Jeez, girl. They really did a number on you. I think someone needs to intervene on this intervention. Would you guys go? Not till we get our cast back. The one who likes to have fun. Come on, Cass. Just one little pill will make all the bad things go away. See? I'll even do one. Nothing to it. What are you scared of, Cass? Are you afraid of dying? <laughs> Hell, death can't touch us now. We are dead. Soon, Cass. Good, good, Cassie. That's it, Cassie. Shake it out. I was there again. At the accident. In your mind, you were. Do you remember what you saw? They were dead. Seth, Trish, and Sylvia. We were in the car. And they were all dead. I felt it best that you recall that for yourself. So, they really are dead? I'm afraid so. You see, Cassie, what you've been experiencing is what is known as survivor's guilt. It's a defense mechanism the brain constructs in order to avoid dealing with tragic losses. But I saw them. They were here last night. You also said they were dead. And that woman I saw in the hallway, who I also said was dead. See, all of that is part of your memory, finally awakening to the reality of what happened that night, the death of your friends. Now, it's time for the healing process to begin. So that was the last time you saw this thing? About a week ago? Yeah, but it's still there. You know when you just feel you're being watched? I feel it every hour and every day. It's like he's just there, waiting. Waiting for what? I don't know, the right moment. <sighs> Did you tell your doctor any of this? He wasn't doing good. He'd just say it was some kind of leftover trauma mumbo jumbo crap try to lock me up again. <laughs> Don't say it, Mahoney. <laughs> say what? And he cracks about me being locked up again. <laughs> uh, so this guy we're meeting, he's the one with the blog? Yeah. His name's Kyle. He thinks he knows how to stop it. And there wasn't anyone who lived closer that we could talk to? They're all dead.
Is this it? It's the dress he sent me. That's his car. <laughs> All right, let's go. We just met once and chatted on the internet. I think it's cool if we just come in. Yeah, we'll just say the door is open. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Kyle? Kyle, are you here? Holy shit, what is all this stuff? That's what he sees. Do you see any of this? It's that one right there. But he warned me I started seeing other things. Smell that? Oh. oh, Cass? Cass, come here, you need to see this. What the hell is this? Go ahead and call the number on this card. Schedule time for the two of you to come down to the station, make an official statement. Is there anything else you need from us? No. But you should probably get her home. Thank you. Cass, I'm gonna take you home, okay? doesn't mean anything, all right? You're not that guy. It's not just him. It's everyone that they went after. They're all dead. Except you. You're not dead. And you're not gonna be dead, okay? Not from that thing. But I don't know what to do. I know someone who does. Father, no! no! I need to speak with you about Cassie Stevens. How does it feel to kill yes. a child? 
Yes, I heard about that incident. How is she? She, they have her sedated at the hospital. She's scheduled to have some tests run later today. God love her. Let's pray they find out what's wrong with her. Justin Mahoney spoke with me about her last week. He's worried that her problems are more of a spiritual nature. How so? He believes she's a target of diabolical attacks. What makes him think that? Cassie told him about visions of a specter she's been seeing out of the corner of her eye. She feels that this spirit wants her dead. And apparently her doctors dismissed the possibility of supernatural causes. What do you believe? I told him I agreed with the doctor. That was before I saw the look in her eyes outside of the church. I've never seen anything as horrific as the fear she had. It wasn't fear of death. She was terrified of something far worse. Oh, we're gonna have a fun time explaining this when we get you out of here. Sorry, I was just trying to cheer you up. I know. Hey, you need to get better so we can have a rematch for all those times you kicked my ass when we were kids. I know I saw it again. It was the church. What did the church have to do with it? That thing. It, it hates God. And it fed off the woman's anger. It wants me dead, Justin. And it's not gonna quit. Well, that's not gonna happen. I don't know how to stop it. I just want to apologize. Just need you to sign this, Doctor. Oh, sure. Right here? Yep. Dr. Schweitzer. Yes, may I help you? I'm Father Jenkins. I left a message for you earlier about a patient of yours, Cassie Stevens. Oh, yes, the parish priest. What can I do for you, Father? Is there a place we can talk in private? Certainly. Follow me. I'm concerned about Cassie, Doctor. How do you feel she's responding to her treatment? Well, we haven't isolated the cause of her dementia yet, if that's what you're asking. Have you considered the possibility that Cassie may actually be seeing these things. Spirits? No, Father. I'll leave that area to men such as yourself. My focus is on the neurological cause. And suppose there is none? Then we look elsewhere. Does that elsewhere include the possibility of demonic attack? Father, if I may be frank, the church's obsession with demons and spirits is what may have planted the idea in Cassie's head to begin with. So, you don't believe in demons? No, Father, I don't. And in 20 years of psychiatry, I've only had one patient suffering from a dementia similar to Cassie's, who I wasn't able to successfully treat. Well then consider the consequences. You see, if I'm wrong, Cassie loses her sanity. If you're wrong, she loses her soul. Father, I am fully aware of the consequences. And I assure you that Cassie Stevens will have the very best in medical care. Now, is there anything else? No, that was it. I appreciate your time.
We're all very concerned with Cassie's well-being, Father. Oh, by the way, what happened to that other patient? She died. As a matter of fact, right here at this hospital. Found with her neck slit open. Self-inflicted. I am very sorry to hear about that. I'd like to leave this with you, doctor, in case you run out of those neurological causes, which I suspect you might. This is a case for demonic possession. I lost my husband, Jack, three years ago. And since then, Katie's been my life. Was my life. This is done. Please, just let me finish. This belonged to Katie. She just used to take it with her everywhere she went. I want you to have it. Me? Yes. Oh, no, really, this is done. If it was your daughter's, I can't. Please, just take it. I can't explain it, but just something inside me tells me that she wants you to have it. I know that Katie forgives you too. I see you took my advice. What'd you think? Not the book to be reading when you're all alone. No, I suppose it isn't. And the book can't compare the experience itself. Yeah, you mentioned that the other day about feeling their threat. And a part of me has never recovered from that experience. It was a direct encounter with hatred, Doug, with a being that was so cruel, foul, and superior and without a trace of mercy. It happened when, when I was assigned to my first parish in Ohio. There had been a series of killings, murders, in the Columbus area, and the police finally were tipped off that a group of high school kids were responsible for the killings. They traced the kids to an abandoned building. Inside the building, they found a basement. What they found in there shocked even the most hardened of them. Yeah, I was brought onto the case because they suspected satanic ritualism was involved. But by the time I arrived, it was too late. During the night, the girl had chewed through her own wrist, but she left a message for us on the wall in her own blood, Ave Satani, hail Satan. Evil is real, Doug. 
and so is the threat it poses to the bodies and the souls of its victims. You're Katie, aren't you? Mm-hmm. I'm Kelsey. I know. I'm so sorry, Katie. Thank you. He's wrong about the man. Who's wrong? The doctor. You see him too? He's here right now. Only God can help you, Cassie. It's all right, Cassie. You're in my office. You're safe now. What is it, Cassie? What did you see? The little girl. The one I've been seeing. I know who she is now. Her name's Katie. She was killed in the other car. This little girl, did she say anything to you? Yeah. She said you're wrong about the man. And she gave me this. Come in. I've uh, got the results from the MRI you ordered for Cassie Stevens. Good. Let's have a look. Were there any abnormalities? None the radiologist could find. Said it looked like a normal human skull. What about the other files? Anything there? Pretty much the same. If there was anything going on up there, it sure didn't show up on the test results. Hmm. Apparently not. Do you want to try again? Maybe recalibrate? Run a few more tests? No, I don't think so. Thank you, Charlie. Not a problem, Doctor. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Hello? There's someone there. I'm sorry, but the church is closed for the night. Okay. Didn't come for the 
rich father. Page 52, Cynthia. Locate article from New York reporter referencing footnote 8. Hello? Hello? Mrs. Johnson, everything all right? Working late, Dr. Schweitzer? Yes, apparently too late. Yeah. Don't you worry. I got these lights fixed up in no time. I'm sure it's just a fuse. Yeah, well... I guess it's time for me to call it a night anyway. Good night, Todd. Good night, Doc. You drive safe now. Have Cynthia Schedule a meeting with Father Jenkins at St. Matthew's Parish. Dr. Schweitzer, Bellevue Medical Center. If this tape recording is found, deliver it to Father Jenkins, St. Matthew's Parish. Father, I'm afraid you are writing your assessment, Cassie Stevens. You hear this? You must see Father Jenkins right away. Your life depends on it.
I'm so sorry, Doug. Thanks. If you'd like, I can go ahead and make arrangements for his funeral. No, you don't have to do that. Why don't you go home? Really, it's no trouble. It's probably better if I keep myself busy anyway. I'm gonna miss him. I didn't know who to give it to. Thanks. I'll see you tomorrow. Hear this. You must see Father Jenkins right away. Your life depends on it. Father McCready. Disconnected? It's her home phone and her cell. Get over there right now. I'm on my way. Cassie? Honey, you awake? Do you want to ride with me to the airport? He's coming, Cassie. He needs to go.
Hello? Dead. It's time for you to join us, Cassie. We'll be together again, Cassie, just like before. Take the night, Cassie. No, there's no time. We need to do this now. Can you do this? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, this candle. Hold it so I can read. Can you read yeah, yeah, of course. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Be merciful on us, O Lord. Save this young child, your servant. Because she hopes in you, O Lord. And be a tower of strength for her, O Lord. Be a tower of strength for her, O Lord face of the enemy. Let the enemy have no power over her. And let the son of iniquity not succeed in injury. Lord, hear my prayer. And let my cry reach you. God of mercy, come to the assistance of this child you created in your own image. And, and cast in the bottomless pit the spirit that torments her. We drive you from her, unclean spirits, and all satanic powers. In the name and power of the Lord Jesus Christ!
kiss na ako pala. So this is her? I just saw him give her something. They were her favorites. Hi, Kitty. 